Yeah. yeah, and as we always see, this has a ripple effect. The delays from the Northeast are impacting air travel out here in the West and here in town. As the hours have gone by, the cancellations have gone up at McCarran Airport. News 3's Sandra Gonzalez has been at the airport all day monitoring the delays and cancellations. Sandra, what can you tell us? Jessica, dozens of flights throughout the day have already been canceled, leaving passengers trying to figure out what to do after spending their money already. The cancellations kept growing, and visitor Tawana Short just wants to get home to D.C. I have a layover in New York, and I heard they're shutting down the airports. So I'm hoping that once I get to New York, it won't be shut down. She says she's in limbo like so many other passengers across the country. One challenge, finding a place to stay as this storm could be a while. Passengers we met said they've heard a couple of days. McCarran's Christine Cruz says anyone traveling through our airport should keep a close eye on the flight status. Not only if you're flying to the East Coast, but anywhere in the next couple of days, because if an aircraft doesn't leave the East Coast to come to Vegas, it's not going to be able to carry its passengers on to another destination. As the situation continues to change, there may be even more air travel gridlock. Hopefully they'll put me, they'll accommodate me and put me in a room somewhere. I really don't want to be stuck at a hotel, uh, at an airport, sleeping in an airport overnight. Now, passengers we met earlier today say at that point, the airlines hadn't offered any accommodations or meals. Now, if you think it's tough to be stuck in a city when you really want to be home, think about when you're from another country. We'll have more on international visitors coming up at 6. Live at McCarran International Airport, Sandra Gonzalez, News 3.